So let's begin coming onto the mat, bolster cushions in behind the lower back and ease the body down. Open the front body, the chest, an extra prop under the head if you need it to tuck the chin down. Take the arms out comfortably wide, palms turn up, gesture of openness and receiving. And completely soften here. Just give yourself a few moments, let the body surrender over the equipment. Is there a lightness and an openness through the front body? Trying to bring a spaciousness in. So scan through the feet, backs of heels, are they hip distance? Let the feet drop. Come up through the legs, from the heels to the buttocks, balanced or different. Now playing on the back, you've got any pain in your lower back, bend your legs up, take the pressure off the lumbar spine. If you've got the equipment in there, you'll feel the front abdominal wall stretching and opening, the front rib cage lifted and open, the front upper chest, shoulders open. Feel how the shoulders drop around the side of the equipment. And again, take the arms wider if you need to. Open up that underarm region. Chin tucks down, back of neck long. Close the eyes. Tummy of the mouth is soft. Facial muscles relax. And let go. If you're grabbing, tensing, gripping, holding on anywhere, can you give yourself a moment to soften here? Completely surrender. Sometimes we hold tension in the body and we're not even aware of it. A glute might be tight, a foot might be angled up, the jawline might be clenched, one shoulder might be hitched higher. Just scanning through the body, noticing can we soften? We give ourselves this moment in time surrendering. Mindfully, can we tune in? So notice if your brain is active. Notice if you've got distractions, thoughts, external sounds grabbing your focus. Just try and soften and bring the focus inward. There's nothing more to do in this moment but soften, surrender and let go. And as we soften, as we surrender, as we let go, do you feel tensions releasing away physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually? We let go. Next exhale for you, push the heels out, stretch the back of the legs, and then bend the legs up, soles of feet together, knees drop away, Supta Baddha Konasana. Now if that's got shaking, the knees aren't happy being out wide, you need to get cushions or blocks and put them in at the side of the buttocks legs so that the inner thighs and hips can open without straining. So if you've got shaking, jitteriness through the legs, you need to support them outside of your buttocks and hips. When you're ready, let the arms sweep back behind you, reach for your elbows. You take a hold of the elbows, if it's difficult, towards the wrists, cup the hands or simply long arms. 
Now breathe in, we stretch. And breathe out, we soften. So that's the feet pressing down and pushing long and the elbows or arms pulling long. And then exhale, soften. Continue in this way. Activate the stretch, elongate. And exhale, soften. Your timing, your breaths. Inhale, activate length. Exhale, soften. Three more rounds, as slow and as deep as you can with your breath. Last exhale for you, firm the lower belly. Change the grip on the elbows, our natural side. We hold the breath out for as long as we can. And then when you're ready to breathe in, bring a slow, steady breath in. Pause at the end of the breath, rest into gap. And then a slow, steady breath out. And pause at the end of that breath, rest into gap. And then keep it going. We want to slow the breath, deepen the capacity to where we can. Pause at the end of each breath. Slow breath out, balancing to the length of the inhale. Continuing in this way. Steady breaths and subtle gaps at the end of each breath. So we're keeping the arms and legs relaxed. We're just keeping the front body the hips open, the chest open. Any aggravation, readjust while we focus on the breathing. One more round of breath work. So finish the round your own and one more full round. Making the breath slower, deeper, longer if you could. And that last exhalation, really slow it down. A never-ending exhale, trying to get all the stale energy and stale breath out of the body. Engage the muscles as you exhale, pelvic floor lifts, lower belly scoops. The end of the exhale, tuck the chin down, Jalandhara Bandha, stretch the back of the neck. Holding out if you can, and then when you're ready to breathe in, let the arms stretch out long behind you. Sweep them down around beside you once more and let those shoulders drop and surrender. Especially this front shoulder region, really feel how it drops and opens for you. Give yourself this moment in time, soften completely. So any back issues, please roll to your right side to come up. 
If it's easy, slide the arms back and just simply roll up. Your choice, protect your body and back where you need to. Once you sit up, legs come forward into a long diamond shape. And then we simply roll the crown of the head towards the feet. So start to notice these alignments as you roll forward. If there's pulling at the lower back out to the sacroiliac joints, you've gone too far, you need to come back a little, get more of a rounded back so you get more stretch through the full length of the spine. Tuck the chin and up to back of neck <clears throat> and then breathe into this feeling. Even prop and rest the forehead if you need to. So we don't want to hurt the back. The most vulnerable parts are our neck and our lower back. They do all the movement while our thoracic gets stiff. So you want to feel that you can get the rib cage, the thoracic region broad <clears throat> and keep breathing into these feelings. Now if you're seated and you're still falling out through the back, you need to prop the hips up on the bolster if you need to, <clears throat> so you're not falling out in the lower back. So we don't want to stretch the lower back. So we've got to notice that is it the legs and hips being open? and the full length of the spine here. And then slow the breath as much as you can, surrender. We don't force the body to be anywhere in particular. It's about surrendering and as we surrender, gravity takes us deeper, but we're not forcing the body. I'm not using my arms to pull or push away from. I'm just allowing gravity to take me in. And then if that's pulling and not happy with, my back's not happy with it, then I'll ease back out again and just hold out a little bit until it softens again. So you've really got to tune in. The mindfulness and the yoga is so important for our well-being, that connection inward. Exhale fully, and we roll it up in the hand. Start to roll up, and as you get higher, hold around those knees or shins. And once you're up nice and tall, pull against the arms so you're not overextended or not slumped, and it gives you the support to sit tall. Keeping the arms active, tilt the right ear down, left ear up. So we keep the chin tucked in, the lower ribs in, and we're not falling out in the back. We're not popping the chest forward, neutral curvature. As you pull against the arms, you should feel a deeper stretch down the left side, neck, shoulder, and arm. Keep breathing into this feeling. And then inhale, the head centers, and second side, exhale. Left ear down, right ear up. Chin in, ribs in. As we pull against the arms resisting, it deepens the stretch, and you should be feeling it down the right side, neck, shoulder, arm. Again, we're not falling out in the back or pelvis. We're not popping the chest forward. We've got those bundas on, lifting through our core body. Hips open as the knees drop away. Keep breathing. Not as severe as Baddha Konasana though, so the legs might not feel so tight. And then inhale the head up to neutral. Bring the chin around to your right shoulder. Tuck it down and in. So again, don't force. There's a stretch on the neck. We're not being hard and harsh. We're just stretching gently. We don't always have to go to the full end range of motion. Tuck it in and then notice if it softens or notice if you're pushing and pulling in so deep that everything's just gripping. So if you are gripping, ease back and see if you can get a softening. And then slowly bring the chin down and around to center chest. And nice and slow, the chin in and up to notch of throat. 
So we stay centered, we don't let the chin slide down the chest, we gently press back. So the neck is elongating, we're not hanging off one part of the cervical spine, our neck is long. And then slowly we bring the head up to neutral. And then slowly the chin around to the left side. Just notice the rotation. If there's pulling or grabbing, then don't go so far. Tuck the chin down and into where you can. Again, we're not forcing. So if you force, the body's going to resist you. Then it tenses up. If you go to the end range of motion, the body grips and grabs because it wants to be know that it's safe. So don't force the body, ease into where you can. And then slowly we're going to bring the chin around to centre chest again. So the chin is tucked in and up as we rotate the head down and in. Once we're centred, the chin is in and up to the notch of the throat. Keep breathing. Slowly the head comes up to neutral. Inhale, all the way around to the right. Bring the arms around, the chest and shoulder around and look around behind the right side body. So again, just notice this feeling without forcing. Feel the back come around, the upper back, the shoulders, the chest. And just turn the face back as much as you can without straining the neck. The hands are here supporting you to get the rotation and keep breathing. Next exhale, we're firming the lower belly, squeeze it in and up. Slowly turn the face forward. The body follows and then we come all the way around second side, all the way around to our left. Feel the back body rotate, the upper body, the shoulders, the chest, the belly, the neck not forcing. Use the hands to assist you as you rotate around. Keep breathing. And exhale fully, firm the lower belly. Come all the way back to centre, face and then the body. Assist the legs to come up, bring them out in front. Shake out, rub down. Roll shoulders, maneuver the neck freely, mobilize the body, however that feels for you. Whatever feels right for you to get mobility through the joints. Wrist, shoulders, neck, knees, ankles, back, whatever it is. And then notice as you move freely if there's any gripping or soreness. And then just be gentle in those areas. So when you're ready, we're going to sit up on the edge of the bolster or cushions. Prop the buttocks up as high as you're comfortable to do. Bring the feet in as close as possible into Baddha Konasana. Soles of feet together, let those knees drop away as much as possible. Right hand off to the side. Left arm out wide, sweep the arm up and over and lean to your right. Now push away from this right hand as you lean to it. Try and feel this left side hip, waist, ribs and arms stretching. You can look down, chin tucked in, or out in front, or up, whatever feels best for your neck. Can we press the feet together and work the knees down while we're here? Keep breathing into a stretch. Exhale, this top arm sweeps down. We're taking the left hand wide to the side, right arm up and over. So now push away from the left hand. We want this right hip anchoring down the side of the hip, waist, ribs, arms, stretch and breathe. Tuck the chin in, whether you look down, forward or up, feel what's best for your neck. Keep breathing. And we're sitting up on this equipment so we can keep our posture um, neutral, not falling back in that lower back. So important to protect. Stretch the top arm, it's like a weight reaching, lengthening. And then sweep it down. Rotate around to your right, grab the leg, the hand behind you, and again rotate back as much as you can. Notice this rib cage, notice the shoulder blades. Are you starting to get more mobility, warming up as you rotate? Make sure the spine is upright, not falling away. 
Soles of feet together, work the knees down, opening hips and legs at the same time. Last exhale for you, we're flattening the belly, squeeze the breath out. Then slowly we come forward on the inhale, rotate around to the left exhale. Use the hands, rotate the body to the back, the chest. Again, notice through this shoulder blade region, are you getting more opening? Rotating, looking back, where is it for you? Continue breathing into this feeling. Steady the breath. What happens if you bring some deeper breaths? Where do they move into? What do you notice with the breath? And then exhale, flatten the belly. Face forward, the body follows. Assist the legs to come up. Feet on the yoga mat, left leg long. Right hand behind you, left arm up. Bring the arm over, outside edge of the right leg, you're twisting to your right. Look around behind your right shoulder. So left arm, outside edge. Now if the shoulder's jamming up near the ear, wrap the arm around the leg instead. Now keep breathing, notice you can get more mobility around the upper back. Bring the right shoulder and chest back, bring the left side through. Arm and leg keep pressing against each other as you rotate back and keep breathing into this feeling, middle back, upper back, chin tucked, protect your neck. Exhale, we're gonna squeeze the breath out and then inhale, face forward, unwind, second side. Left leg comes in, right leg long. Left hand behind you. Right arm up, stretch. Bring the arm over, outside edge of the leg. Arm and leg press against each other as you rotate. Or if you're just pinching in the shoulder, wrap the arm around the leg, hug it instead. Now keep breathing. Bring the chest around the shoulder. And do you feel this thoracic region and these shoulder blades opening for you? Keep breathing. And exhale, we're squeezing the last breath out, squeeze it out. Face forward, inhale, unwind, easy cross legs. Just comfortable so you can sit for a moment and do a bit of neck and arm stretching again. When you're ready, right fingertips long. Tilt your head away to the left. Feel a stretch on that right side, neck, shoulder, arm, and keep breathing. Belly in, bundas on, chin in, feel the stretch on that right side. And when you're ready, right arm across in front of the body, left arm in front of that. Wrap the forearms, full Garudasana forearm wrap if it's easy, or keep this right arm long. Now keep the right shoulder sealed down, don't let it hitch up near the ear. Round your back out, tuck your chin in, Broaden and breathe. Now get those arms pressing against each other, resisting, and see if you can deepen the stretch. Chin in, breathe into the feelings. Exhale fully, let the arms unravel, let the shoulders go heavy, arms heavy, and then roll the spine up to neutral. Give yourself a moment, just keep the shoulders heavy, dropping down. And then left fingertips long and tilt the head to the right. Feel the stretch down this left side, neck, shoulder, arm. How tight is it for you? If there's no stretch, keep adjusting until you can find it. Let's grab to ease up and soften a little bit. Remember, we don't force, we're stretching. Can you breathe into the feeling of it? And then bring that left arm across in front of the body. 
right arm up in front of that, full forearm wrap if it's easy, if not, left arm stays long, shoulders seal it down, make sure it's not hitching up near the ear, round your back out, tuck your chin in, broaden and breathe across your upper back, middle back, keep breathing into these feelings, where is it for you? Exhale fully, let the arms unravel, and then slowly bring the spine up, head comes up last. Let those shoulders be heavy, let them drop down for a moment, and just give yourself this time. When you're ready, full shoulder rotations, inhale up with motion, exhale down with motion. You can rock the body back and forth and roll the back with it as well, so you're getting more mobility through your body or just the shoulders, your choice. And then opposite direction in your time. Inhale up with motion, exhale down with motion full circles. And then let the shoulders roll down and once they do, feel there's a string attached to the top of your head, feel it pull you up tall. Let the shoulders relax down, the chin gently tucks in. And when you're ready, could you simply lift the knees up? Could you come up into a forward fold? So just lift the buttocks up, hold the elbows and hang down your forward bend. Legs bent, ribs on thighs, as close as you can be and surrender. So let gravity pull the elbows down deeper to the mat. Feel the shoulders come closer to the ears. Tuck the chin in, Janandara Bandha. Bend the legs, press the feet down into the yoga mat. And just give yourself this time surrendering, softening. Feel the stretch through the back body. Make sure you're protecting your lower back by keeping the legs bent and the ribs on thighs. If it's too much, elbows on the upper thighs and push the bottom further out. Rest it where you need. Slow those breaths. And then when you're ready, just grab the equipment, push it off to the side, just move it away, and then let your arms drop. Walk the hands forward, step the feet back and find your downward facing dog along the yoga mat. Once you're here, unlock your knees, unlock your elbows. Press your palms of hands into the yoga mat and feel inner and outer edge of the wrists are balanced. Now slide your awareness up your arms and get those shoulders to roll broad across the back. If your really shoulders are really dominant and you've got tightness, put the hands further out on the mat, turn the fingers out more and get the shoulders broader. Feel them broad across your upper back, lift your chest up into the upper back, tuck your chin in, Jalandhara Bandha. Now feel the strength through your upper body, no pinching. Slide up your back to the buttocks, stretch them out and push them long. Slide down the legs into the feet and press the heels down. Keep breathing into these feelings, strengthening through the upper body. Take three more breaths as slow and as deep as you can. Third exhale for you, come down onto the knees. We're dipping and rolling the spine. Inhale, dip the spine, look up. Exhale, roll the spine and look into the belly. 
Keep it going, your timing. Inhale, dipping, looking up. Exhale, rolling, looking in. So find your flow. Inhale, dip. Exhale, roll. Keep the shoulders above the wrists and mobilize the spine in each direction. Now when you're next looking at the navel, stay here. So push the hands down through the yoga mat. Look into your belly button and get those shoulders broader across your upper back. Now as you broaden the shoulders by pushing the hands down, breathe into that space, open it up. Chin in deeper to notch your throat. If you're trying to pull your knees forward and feel the length come through the front hip flexors and the length through the lower back. And then bring the spine to neutral. So once you've got the spine neutral, we're taking the right arm up in front of us. Inhale, reach it up to the ceiling and circle it back behind us towards the body. Inhale, up to the ceiling and back around in front of us at shoulder height. Take the arm wide to the side. Right fingertips to the ear, elbow bent. And as you exhale, bring the right elbow towards the left wrist. Go further through the arm if you can and look out to your left. Inhale, bring the right elbow back wide, fingertips out to the side, right hand down onto the mat. Left arm in front of you, long arm inhale, up to the ceiling and rotate back towards the body. Up to the ceiling, back out in front of you, take the arm wide to the side. Fingertips to the ear, elbow bends, inhale. Exhale, the elbow to the right wrist, further through if you can get. Rotate the upper back shoulder stretch. Inhale, bring the elbow wide to the side. Fingertips wide to the side. Left hand on the mat. Right arm out in front of you again. Inhale, up to the ceiling and rotate back as far as you can. Wide the arm if the shoulder's injured. Up to the ceiling and back out in front of you again. Fingertips long arm wide to the right. Fingertips to ear, elbow bends. Exhale, the elbow through to the left wrist or further through, rotate, twist. Come up out of it, right elbow wide, fingertips wide, the right hand to the mat. Left arm out in front of you, inhale, up to the ceiling and rotate back towards the body. Up to the ceiling, long arm in front of you. Fingertips wide to the left. Fingertips to the ear, inhale, exhale, left elbow to right wrist, further through and rotate, twist where you can. Inhale, bring the elbow wide, fingertips wide, hand to the mat. Tuck the toes, lift off your knees, and you're in your down dog. As soon as you're up in down dog, I get those shoulders broad. Chin in and up, Jalandara Bandra, and feel the neck lengthen. Lift the chest into the back body. Lift the ribs up into the back body. Navel to spine, pelvic floor engage. Press your feet down through the mat and stretch your heels to the mat. Inhale, right legs going straight up. Flex the foot, hips squared. Bring your knee to nose, shoulders above wrist. Strengthen, round the upper back. Chin in, Jalandhara. Step your right foot down, left knee down, low lunge. Reach the arms up to the ceiling, touch. Float the arms up, hands on the hips, exhale and balance. Make sure the pelvis is balanced. And then shoulder head squeeze back, elbows back, and feel the hips come into the lunge. Hands behind you, clasp the hands and pull the arms back. Drive the left hip forward, push away from the right foot. Make sure the bundas are on, you're not collapsing through the back and breathe into your stretch. Slow breaths in and out. Next inhale, let the arms float up, stretch up, reach up. Hands come down, step forward, front of mat. Feet hip distance parallel. As soon as you're here, left hand to right ankle. Left hand, right ankle, right arm up twist. 
Now bend your left leg, straighten your right leg. Pull up on your base arm, stretch your top arm, keep breathing. Chin tucked, neck long. Second side, right hand, sweep it down outside of your left ankle, left arm up. Bend the right leg, straighten the left leg, rotate looking up. Exhale, release, hold your elbows and hang down your forward bend. Bend the legs, ribs on thighs, as close as you can get. Now holding onto those elbows, let gravity pull you long. Tuck your chin in and up to notch your throat without forcing Jalandhara. Ribs on thighs to protect your lower back. And slow the breaths to where you can. Press down through the feet, let the arms drop. Sweep wide, come all the way up to stand. Clasp your hands, turn your palms up. Arch up and stretch. And then bring yourself a big bear hug. Arms wide, sweep around your shoulders, your chest. Give yourself a big hug, round your back, tuck your chin in. Feel you're trying to pull your shoulder blades broad across your upper back. As if you're trying to pull them broad, round the spine out, chin in, tailbone tucks. Now notice which arm's on top. We're going second side. So sweep the arms up, clasp the hands, turn up, arch the chest up again, stretch. Sweep them wide. Give yourself a big bear hug. Try and grab around those shoulder blades. Opposite arm on top. Pull the shoulders broad across your upper back. Chin in and up to notch your throat. Bend the legs, tailbone under. Keep breathing. And then sweep the arms up. Clasp the hands again, arch up. Stretch. Wide arms to the mat. Let backs of hands drop beside the feet. Head heavy, arms and shoulders heavy, surrender completely. Bend those legs, ribs on thighs to protect. Keep breathing. Now when you're ready, lift the head and chest, extend your spine, which means there's that dip in your lower back. So bend the legs and chest higher if you need to. Hands then flat to the mat, step or jump out to your plank and hold. So now we're going to really strengthen, unlock the elbows, push your hands down, make sure those shoulders are broad across your upper back. If you're dropping in your lower back, knees down, protect. Push your feet through the yoga mat and feel your sternum pull long, chin in and up. Now shifting the weight slightly and put the right hand, tap the left shoulder. And then put the right hand back on the mat. Now left hand tap the right shoulder. Put the hand on the mat. Right hand left shoulder. Hand to the mat. Left hand right shoulder. Hand to the mat. Broaden your shoulders and slowly lower chaturanga. Knees down if you're dropping in your lower back. Inhale, lift through cobra up dog. If you're pinching in the back, make sure you're lower. Only bring it up to where you can. Shoulders back behind the chest. Downward facing dog, take the buttocks up and stretch back long. Unlock knees, unlock elbows, chin in and up, notch your throat. Shoulders broad across your upper back. And keep breathing. Chest up into the upper back. Get the shoulders broad, upper back broad and strong. Push the buttocks away, elongate. Press the heels down and feel the back of the legs lengthening. Bring a slow, steady breath in. Slow, steady breath out. Two more. Last breath for you, the left leg's going straight up, keep your hips balanced. 
Bring the knee to nose, shoulders above wrist, round your upper back, chin in, Jalandhara, find your strength. And then put the left foot down, right knee down. Let those arms float up, reach up to the ceiling, make sure the foot is forward of the knee. Hands come onto the hips and balance them off. Find a stretch on the hip, open into it. Then we want the shoulder heads back, shoulder blades down the back, wing the elbows back, clasp the hands, other little finger outer edge and pull them away from the back. So now we're opening up the shoulder heads back, chest opening, not falling out through the core body. As we keep driving the hip forward, keep breathing into your stretch. Slow the breaths to where you can, opening up. We're releasing the arms, let them float up, stretch up, lift your spine up, don't compress. Hands come down, step forward, feet hip distance parallel, hold your elbows and simply surrender. So you're pulling the elbows long, shoulders drop towards ears, tuck the chin in, back of neck long. Let the arms drop, sweep wide, come all the way up to stand, touch the hands together, bring them down behind the back and again an easy clasp. Can you pull them away from the back without overdoing the curves of the spine? It's the shoulders, can you keep the spine neutral? Then bend the legs, inhale, lift the chest up, fold your body onto your legs. So keep bending them as much as you need. Now tuck your chin in as deep as you can get here. Chin in nice and deep to notch your throat. Legs bent, ribs on thighs. Now you're going to focus on just lifting the shoulders away from the ears. Keep lifting the shoulders away from your ears. Keep your neck long, chin in and up. Now we're going to lift the body off the legs slightly. Straighten your right leg, bend your left and turn and look out to your right. Let gravity pull the arms over to the left as much as you can. Keep breathing into this feeling. Come back to being centered on the legs. Now second side, bend the right, straighten the left. Look out to the left and let gravity pull the arms to the right. Come back to center, the body on the legs. Let the arms gently drop down to the mat beside the feet. Surrender for a moment. Now if you've got a back issue, bend your legs more and extend the buttocks out further behind you. If it's easy, keep the buttocks high. We're rolling the upper back to come up. Push your feet down through the mat, vertebra by vertebra. Slowly roll the back up, coming all the way up to stand. Close the eyes and stand tall. Be completely still once you're here. Slow breaths in and out. Notice, are you balanced across the shoulders? Down through the hands, balanced or different? Just let them be heavy, let them drop down as you feel the body lift up. Slow your breath. Press your feet down, keep breathing. Tongue in the mouth, soft. Now when you're ready, just turn the right hand out and stretch the fingers long. Take the right arm wide and up, bring the hand down between the shoulder blades. Left hand to right elbow, right hand walk it wider, Shoulder injuries, the elbow stays further in front, so you're not dropping in the back to get the elbow up. Inhale, lean the arm or lean your body to the left, and the arm is pushing back to the right. So really feel the stretch on this right side body. You can push the hips to the right, the elbow's trying to press back to the right, left arm holds it. Ribs in, chin in, keep breathing. And inhale, come to center. 
Let the arms release down beside you. Let them be heavy, can they drop? Just if you need to, be still if possible. Now second side, learn to turn the left palm out. Inhale the arm up, reach it down between the shoulder blades, walk it further to the left if it's easy. Right hand to the outer edge of that left elbow. You're not compromising the back to get the elbow up, so bring the elbow in front of the shoulders tight. Inhale, lean to your right, push the hips to the left, and this left elbow is trying to push back to the left. Keep breathing. Chin in, ribs in, make sure you're not collapsing in your back just because you've got the arms overhead. And then inhale up to centre. Again, let the arms release down beside you, be still. Close the eyes, give yourself this moment. Do you feel broadness or length from the collarbones, through the upper back, through the shoulders? Arms heavy, let them drop. Spine lifted. Bring a slow breath in. As you exhale, tuck your chin in, bend your legs. We're slumping all the way back to the floor. If you've got a bad lower back, tilt the bottom out, keeping the lower back extended. If not, legs bend just a little and slump the body down to where you can. Arms heavy, head heavy, roll the back. Just let yourself surrender to where you can. Soften completely. Now we're gonna lift the head and chest, hands in front. So just move the feet back a little bit if you need to, hands flat to the mat, so bend the legs more if you need, hands flat. Now you're simply just gonna lean over the hands as far as you can before you fall forward or topple on your head, and then you just push back. And again, lean the body weight forward. If you feel you're going to topple on the head, that's when you start to push back. And then just push back before you fall forward. We're going it a couple more times. Simply lean the body weight forward as far as you can. And then before you fall on the head, you just go into that preservation mode and you push back. A couple more. Start to lean the body weight forward, preservation will kick in, and then just push back. One more, come as far forward as you can, hold it if the wrists are sore, don't go so far. Keep staying there for a few more breaths. Feel the upper body strengthen, and then push back. Turn your toes out as far as you're comfortable to do, so the knees will track wide as you bend, Sit the buttocks down into a squat as deep as you can. So stretch your lower back, your hips and legs, hands at heart center, hold on to the yoga mat, grab around the back of the ankles, whatever works for you. Roll crown of head towards the mat if it's easy. Hold on to the edges of the mat and push back. If you need to stay higher, keep your bottom higher. Whatever works for you, hands can be at heart center. Give yourself a moment, just find your stretch, find your opening. When you're ready, the hands are coming onto the yoga mat. Lift the buttocks up, step or jump out to plank. Shoulders above wrists, not in front. Unlock the elbows and push your hands into the yoga mat as actively as you can. Can you feel the lower abdominal wall switch on, transverse abdominis? Pull the sternum long, chin in, back of neck long. Feet press, legs are active. Knees down if you need to protect the back, chaturanga. Shoulder heads sealed back, don't let them collapse forward. Inhale, cobra up dog. Keep the shoulders back, pull the chest through, open up. Downward facing dog, take the buttocks up, stretch back long. As soon as you're here, chin in and up to knot your throat. Shoulders broad across your upper back. Bundles on through the body, engaging it, strengthening. Press the buttocks long. 
Make sure you're in extension, but press the heels long. Chin in, Jamandara. Shoulders broader if you could. Palms pressed. Keep breathing into the stretch. The best stretch you can do for your entire back body lengthening. Exhale fully, we're down onto the knees. Press through the sit or swing the legs wide. Come back into that long diamond shape. Give the wrists a shake out, the shoulders a roll out. Maneuver the body. As soon as you're ready, surrender forward, head to heels, let yourself soften in. Completely surrender, letting go. When you're ready, we're simply rolling it back up, vertebra by vertebra. Chin tucked all the way, nice and slow. Feel how that is for you. Once you're upright, a gentle rotation to your right. It's just cooling down, releasing around to where you can. Inhale, face forward, body follows. Around to your left. Come all the way back to centre. Bring those legs out long. Make sure there's plenty of mat behind you. And roll your body down. Support yourself if there's a lower back issue. Protect your back. Roll all the way to the yoga mat. Palms turn up. Feet drop away. Be still. Completely let go, notice what's here for you. Is there balance? Is there difference? Any particular areas of the body grabbing your attention? Surrender into this feeling, whatever it is. Enjoy this feeling of complete surrendering. Remember, if there's any pain in the back, bend your legs up, take pressure off. Anywhere that's painful, readjust. Trying to get softening, releasing, let it go. your mind wanders, can you bring it back to breath and body, breathing into sensation,
and we start to lengthen and deepen those breaths. As the breaths start to deepen for us, rub thumbs and fingers and wriggle toes. Opening, closing hands, flexing feet back and forth. And circle the joints, ankles and wrists, full rotations. Opposite direction in your time. And stretch the arms up and over when you're ready. Reach out long. And sigh and soften. Twice more stretching out. Last stretch for you, then bend the legs up, roll to your right. Give yourself a moment there. Moving slowly to come up and sit. Prop the hips up if you're falling out into flexion. Neutral pelvis, shoulders balanced above hips. Tuck your chin in towards notch of throat, elongation of the back of the neck protecting. Bring thumb tips and fingertips gently to touch. Hakini Mudra. A lightness on the fingertips and thumb tips connected. The hands just gently separated. Close the eyes. Tuck the chin in. Keep breathing. So this Mudra is supposed to be for our brain power. It's supposed to aid our concentration, our focus. I think it's Ajna Chakra, our third eye focus. Like balancing right and left hands, we balance right and left energies of the brain and the body. So as you sit, just notice if you feel anything through your body. Anything you didn't notice previously. And then obviously these mudras we'd need to do continually, daily, weekly, monthly to get the benefits. Just notice what you feel in this moment. through the fingertips and hand connection. Do you feel any warmth or cool? Do you feel a connection if there's any tingling in between the fingers and thumbs? And then wide arms and up. Let them sweep up. Connect the hands together and touch to the forehead. As we move through life, we move through life with thoughtfulness. Touch the hands to the lips as we move through life. We have kind words. And bring the hands to the heart. As we move through life, we have compassion. And we have kindness. Namaste. Fold the body, stretch long, surrender forward. Be still or rock it out, however that is for you to finish. And then when you're ready, rolling up and finishing in your time.